Okay, a quick question if I may. Have you ever tried to lose weight before? Two to three weeks into your weight loss plan, you end up giving up, forgetting all about it. That was me until I fell in love with running. You see, I realized that the excess weight I was holding was holding me back from being a better runner. And so I started this video series. I call it OR 1015, Overweight Runner Trying to Lose 10 Kilos in 15 Weeks. And this is week six. On a weekly basis, every Sunday at 7 a.m., I share this video, letting you know how that week has gone. At the end of this video, I'm gonna let you know how my weigh-in went. But throughout the video, I share all of my workouts. I take you to the gym with me and I bring you on all of my runs to kind of let you know what I'm doing in an effort to lose the 10 kilos in 15 weeks. If it happens to be that you're on a similar mission or you've tried losing weight and it just didn't work out before, this is my Instagram. Get in touch with me, follow me. Every Sunday when I release these videos, check in with me and tell me how you're getting on. I'm so happy that so many people have taken me up on that and I'm checking in with so many people and some people are actually doing really well. I've talked too much. Let's start with the week. Yo, welcome to a new week. This is week six. Yesterday, which was day one, Saturday, the 30th of September was a long run. One hour and 11 minutes at around a pace of six minutes, 20 seconds. I did it a little faster than that. But it was the first long run on my current block training for Brighton 10K. There are the stats. Um, it's now day two, it's a Sunday. So Sundays, I coordinate a group run with people in my neighborhood and we're gonna do that. But I come out earlier. So I'm actually doing a speed session. Whew. Five minute warm up, 10 by 200s. So 200 meters on, 200 meters off at around a pace of 430. And then we've got a five minute cool down after that. And then I'm gonna join the gang. Let's go. Four seventy. Rep number six, I'm feeling it now. That's the slowest one. Anyway, the rule of this session, you always have to finish the last one with the fastest time. Oh, sorry, I'm losing it. Okay, one more rep. Let's go fast. We'll get this one under the four minute per K pace. Oh. Yeah. 347, I respect that. We started day zero at 90 kilos. And at the end of week five, I brought that down to 84.5. That's a lot of progress in such short time. The question is, in week six, have I lost even more? Spoiler alert, yes I have. Yo, it's Monday, the 2nd of October, and it's day three in week six. And today, I've got a recovery run. I'm out in Wimbledon, um, and today's run is 30 minutes at around six minutes, 30 seconds per K pace. So very easy, um, not necessarily zone two, but not too far off. It's a recovery run. And I'm checking out a new place in Wimbledon. This is the park I'm running in. All right, so recovery run done. Um, there are the stats in Wimbledon. And um, I'll see you later on. I might go to the gym actually after, after work today. So let's see. Okay, so carrying on with the Monday, we're in the gym. It's a push workout, so chest and triceps today, starting with the barbell bench press, 50 kilos, 15 reps. I'm enjoying this one. Moved on to the incline bench press, 
30 kilos and 15 reps before moving on to dumbbells. We then did an incline bench dumbbell flies. I love this movement. Finish it up with the cable flies. Then moved on to the tricep section with a tricep push down. I love these. And then moved on to doing skull crushes, but with dumbbells. It's a good variation before moving on to the overhead tricep extensions. I love this. And as always, we finish the whole workout off with some calf raises. Let's go. Yeah, it's Tuesday, 3rd of October. I've got a base run. So 40 minute run around the six minute, 10 seconds per K pace in my local area. Just enjoying a different environment. A mixture of trails and a road. There you go with the stats. And then after work, we're back in the gym. So I'll see you at the gym session. Okay, so let's wrap up Tuesday. This is Tuesday evening, the pool session in my gym. And so we started with some dumbbell rows. You will notice I've changed how I'm doing this. Doing it on an incline bench supports your lower back better. So all that weight you're carrying doesn't go onto your lower back. It's good for avoiding injuries. Moving on, went to the lat pull down. I love this movement. A wide grip lat pull down. Straight after, went to do some face pulls. It's a very good strong movement for a neglected muscle, your rear delts, and then standing pull downs. That wrapped up the back section. And then gym bro section with the bicep curls. Started with an easy bar, but with the cables. And I love this because you can adjust the weight very easily, but also challenges your bicep in a different way. Incline bench dumbbell curls next. Uh, I'm used to these ones. It's a staple within my bicep workout. Straight after that, standing dumbbell curls. As always, calf raises. Can't neglect, wait, wait. Calf raises. Can't neglect these bad boys. You gotta do them every time. Okay, so it's Wednesday the 4th of October, which is day five in week six. A shoulder setting. Started this one. Oh, and there's no running today. It's just gym. So we started this one with a dumbbell shoulder press, which, which is really good. Uh, 15 reps of this before moving on to the side lateral raises. Be careful with this movement. It's easy to injure yourself if you go too heavy and not doing the movement correctly. And then I moved on to the cable. I've got this front raise. I like to use the bar for this. I like to use the cable. Uh, I just like this movement. It's much more controlled. You can do this with two dumbbells. I just prefer it this way. And then the rear delt fly using the cable as well. I'm super lightweight when it comes to this one. The strength is just not there, but I'm building up. Watch this space. Last shoulder movement is the dumbbell shrugs. Now, let me tell you this. If your face is not looking silly or ugly doing this movement, you're not doing it right or you're not going heavy enough. Um, but I like the movement. It's very good for concentrating on your shoulders, often neglected. As always, we wrapped it up with some calf raises. Right, back to work. Yeah. We're still going. It's the 5th of October. It's a Thursday, which is day six in week six. And today, I've got an anaerobic session. We're gonna start this off with a 15 minute warm up at around that six minute per K pace. And then it gets spicy. All right, we're gonna run for one minute at 4.15 pace. Let's go. Seven reps. Let's go. All right. First rep. Alright. 359. Ah. I felt that one. 350. Ah. 343. Ah. Alright. Ah. Alright. Ah. 356. Ah. So the plan is for this last one to go all out. Fastest one, fastest time for your last rep. Let's go. Yeah. Ah. Ah. 333. That's a good effort. A 10 minute cool down and that's it. So, as always, there you go with the stats. A good anaerobic session. Oh, okay. It's Friday. The 6th of October and it's day 7 
of week six. This is the last day before we do our weigh-in. I'm out on a 50 minute easy run, which I try to keep in around zone three. And that keeps my heart rate at around 144 BPM. Um, 50 minutes, left the house at five past 5 a.m. just to get it done. Work is gonna be busy, kids, school runs and all that kind of stuff. There'll always be things to hold you back, so you gotta find a way around it. And sometimes it's leaving the house super early. As always, there you go with the stats. Uh, yeah. Weigh in time. As a recap, day zero, we started with 90 kilos on the dot. After one week, I managed to get that down to 87.5. In week two, we brought that down to 86.4. Week three, we got that to 85.5. Week four, we got it to 84.6. Week five wasn't too good because we got it down to 84.5. This has been my best week so far. At the end of week six, except on the scale, and it came in at 83.05. Not 0 0.5, 0 0.05. The goal for this week is to stay the same. I'm not gonna push it as hard because I pushed really hard this week and my nutrition was on point, trying to keep to 2,300 calories. And I've managed to do it and I felt great being able to run as well as being in the gym. If you're finding this series useful, please give me a subscription, follow, subscribe, Instagram, whatever. Keep in touch. Only because I promise you, if you just invest the time and you decide to commit this goal, the rewards are endless, not just for running, but overall health. My name is Aubrey. Thank you for checking this out.